Hello, my friends. Michelle from Kansas City. Just want to show what's going on outside. We had an ice storm, and now we're going to snow. We're supposed to get four more inches. That's bird seed and my heated water bowl for my birds. <laughs> I love taking care of my animals. And uh, anyway, I'm walking backwards because I want to get out of the bright light. I just scratched my neck. Look how red that is. Anyway, really quickly, I'm going to give you something of value. I want to provide a prosperity tip for you. This is for those of you that have an online business, you're an entrepreneur, and whether it's a network marketing company, affiliate company, um, your own product, what have you. Um, if you're utilizing videos like I'm doing right now, right? If you're utilizing videos to market your business, or brand yourself, I have a really good suggestion for you. And that is instead of uploading it to YouTube and then putting that link on your Facebook, I really recommend directly uploading your video to Facebook. And the reason why statistics have shown that Facebook knows that if you're going to provide a link like from YouTube over to your Facebook page or profile, they don't want your friends to leave Facebook. So if you directly upload your video to Facebook, what I recommend is upload your video. I'm using my phone. I'm going to directly upload this from my phone to my Facebook profile and I'm going to include some information. And then at the bottom, I'm going to put a link to my blog. Now, what's going to happen is, is I can put a call to action. So when you provide a video, okay, whether it's your own video or another high value video, you know, I always recommend have a call to action, whether it's in the description or in the video, and that will lead them to something that they will learn more about you. For example, your blog. Now your blog is really, really important because when people go to your blog, um, like for example, when you go to my blog, it's going to go directly to my story, more about me, and they can also look at testimonials about me. They can see other value that I'm providing people. They're going to have the opportunity, multiple opportunities actually, to opt into my list. Now, I don't recommend utilizing a capture page with your videos, like when you put your description and then you put a capture page link. I really don't recommend that because it's going to turn people off. When people click on that and they say, oh, they're trying to get me on their list, they're going to be turned off and they might not come back and click on a link ever again. So I really, really recommend directly upload your videos to Facebook and then I recommend um, putting a link to your blog in that okay so that's something that I suggest for you now you can also upload your video to your blog and then put a link from your blog the post like have it as a blog post and then put that blog post link also in your Facebook and that might be something you might want to do in addition but definitely upload your videos directly on Facebook as well and if you don't think you have anything of high quality value to offer um, first of all um, this video I'm shooting for you right now is one a video that I saw somebody else do some information somebody else is providing and I thought that's a golden nugget I'm gonna provide that to my friends and prospects and fans or what have you so um, I'm making this video providing this value and hopefully you'll get something out of it and learn something from it and find it of value now if you want to learn more about me you can click the link that's in this description. It's michellegrigsby.net. If you want to visit my YouTube channel and see all my videos, I'm doing the 90 Days of Truth Challenge. It's Michelle from KansasCityTV.com. And um, yeah, so if you're not doing video marketing, let's connect. I can give you tips on how to do that. And uh, know that you are meant for greatness. I appreciate you watching this video. Ciao.